Good morning, guys. Um, I just posted a vlog. It's my 500 subscribers vlog and uh, getting Carrie Underwood's album, My Savior. So I've got that going. I've got my sister's YouTube videos playing here, um, giving her some watch time. We try to support each other in that way. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my sister, her channel is Casarilla. I believe I have it linked in every um, description on my channel. Let me check real quick. I think I do. Yeah, I have a little thing uh, that says check out my sister's channel. You can click on that and subscribe to her if you want. Of course, we're not forcing people to subscribe to the other sibling. Um, if you like our content, subscribe to us kind of thing. We're not forcing anybody to, which we can't really force you to anyways because we can't click the button for you, but you know what I mean. Um, she posts like gaming content and uh, drawings of like Zelda um, characters and other stuff. I don't know. Um, she does what she wants, um, but she's definitely more of a nerd in that way. But yeah, so I'm giving her some watch time this morning. Link is just running around with Wolf Link, I believe. I don't know how, a whole lot about it. But um, anywho, that's what's happening today. I've got to go to work here in just a few minutes. Paisley spent the night with my mom and with my mom and dad because we had Bible study with the teens last night, and it was late when we got out. So I figured she might as well just stay the night with them. She's staying the night with them again tonight because we have praise team practice, um, and then tomorrow night's church, and then Thursday night's pra praise team practice. So it's another busy week. Uh, Friday night we're celebrating my mother-in-law's birthday. Um, we haven't seen her in a while, so we're going to go over there and visit with her. And I'm planning on cooking supper for her. Hopefully I can do roast and mashed potatoes, green beans and cornbread. That's the plan. So hopefully I can find all the things that I need. Um, but today, enough of that. Making a list of everything I'm doing this week. I'm just kind of letting you guys know what's going on and it kind of keeps me in check myself um but today i have a doctor's appointment at 3 15 to get my next planon implant taken out of my arm um which is if you don't know uh it's a birth control implant that they stick in your arm you can have it in for up to three years um i've had it in for a little over two years and i'm ready to just get it taken out and hopefully get my cycle back to normal. Um, I know that my thyroid being jacked out of shape is part of that not being normal too. So hopefully when my thyroid gets normal, my cycle will be normal and all of that good stuff. So yeah, we're, we're just getting this out of my arm today. I'm pretty excited about it. Anyways, um, just want to kind of give you guys a little update on today this may be a day in my life vlog i'm not sure um i am doing weight watchers trying to really stick to it this week um last week i had a birthday party um there's almost been a birthday party literally every single day or every not every single day every single weekend since i started weight watchers so that's cool um i don't want to miss out on the cake so i've been eating the cake um but I lost two pounds a couple weeks ago. Then I gained it back last week. So I'm really going to try to stick to it this week. Um, so far today, I've used nine points. Um, I drank my caramel cappuccino coffee, which by the way, um, I'll show it to you in just a minute. Um, it is amazing. And I do not have to add any creamer or any sweetener to it at all. I can drink it straight and it's four points. Um, for one pod and I just do the biggest cup on my Keurig um, and then I had one egg with some spinach just a little sprinkle of cheese and a little 90 calorie mini tortilla like fajita tortilla I had so I had like a scrambled egg and spinach and cheese wrap for breakfast and that ended up being nine points with the coffee and the wrap and everything um i would put sausage in it but sausage is so many points and i just don't want to waste my points on sausage uh, i can eat a slim jim for one point later on 
and uh, get a little bit of like meat in me if I feel like I need to. But I went ahead today, I'm pretty proud of myself, and put in the dinner that I want to have, which is my tortilla pizza that I usually fix. Um, sorry my heat was on during that house spill, my bad. Um, so my points for dinner tonight are 10 and um so that leaves me with four points for lunch um i may go over my points by a little bit today but as long as i'm in like the blue range i'm happy with it um i kind of want to try a coffee from starbucks today i've never tried a coffee from starbucks like since i've been drinking coffee so i want to try one of those and i've already looked up the points for it and it's four points if I get a grande, three points if I get a tall. So I'm not sure which one I want to do. It depends on what I eat for lunch. Um, but I'd like to, whatever I eat for lunch, to be four points or less. But it's probably going to be really hard to do that. Because right now we're still eating out for lunch. Um, and eating out is just so hard when you're trying to watch what you eat. It's really hard because all we have is like burger and fries everywhere. <laughs> like McDonald's was out of grilled chicken the other day. Like what? I don't understand. Anywho, um, I've rambled on long enough for this clip. It's like eight minutes long. I am so sorry. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that it, once I get rolling and get talking, that's how it goes. So, anywho, I am going to go to work now y'all have a great day thanks for watching if i forget to say that at the end of this video hopefully this is a day in my life if it's not you'll see it later who knows and i'll talk to you later peace uh she asked me you know are y'all gonna try to have a baby I was like that's the hopes but we shall see I gotta get my thyroid fixed first she goes yeah that that will help <laughs> so um, yeah I don't know I'm probably not going to get an again uh, my experience was not terrible or anything like that I didn't have any irritation or anything of that nature uh, just that my period was out of whack like the last month I was like what is my body doing and it really doesn't know what it's doing because the thyroid is out of whack and everything so hopefully once my thyroid gets better and now that I have the next one on removed hopefully everything will kind of line up and do what it's supposed to do and hopefully my body will act normal and I'll have some energy and all of the all of the all the things so now I am going to uh, do some running and then go grab a coffee. I wonder if I should grab a coffee first. I don't know. But we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel hungry, so maybe I should go grab a coffee and then and then do my running. Because I'm really just going to a couple places. So. I think I'll do, I think I'll, I think I'll go get a coffee first, then do my running. The only thing is, I have to keep it in the car, but I don't think it'll take me long to do my running, so, um, I don't know what my hair is doing, um, I'm not sure if it looks great or not great, um, here's the thing, I used the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk cream, and I put that on it after, I just, I just, like, rinsed it. In, in the shower and then when I got out of the shower I put the curl top cream in there um, I did like two two like quarter size amounts I guess my hands like really dry right there but anyways I put that in there and then I plopped it in a t-shirt and I kind of like the way it looks it's a little frizzy but other than that it kind of looks like I just like came from the beach or something I don't know um, it's got like my little natural wave happening so it's kind of nice I don't know I'm trying to find easier ways to fix my hair without having to curl it or straighten it all the time. Like, I don't even know the last time I wore it straight. But, I mean, I like it straight. But, you know, I don't really have time to put heat on my hair right now. So, anyways, um, 
Now, I'm really getting hungry and I don't need to eat anything until supper tonight, so I'm gonna go grab a coffee and then that'll just put me a few points over, like four points over my Weight Watchers points because I was a good girl and went ahead and put in my dinner um, this morning when I ate breakfast. So, yeah, I'm going to do that and then do my running. So let's, let's go run. Let's go do our running. And running, running, and running, running, and running. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Okay, so I am in the drive-thru at Dunkin' because uh, Starbucks did not have the order, um, the, the drink that I wanted to order. I wanted to order the iced coffee, the blonde roast, and they did not have it available. I don't even know why. Um, so I can't try that drink. I wanted to try that drink. That's what my friend Stacy recommended me try. Shout out to you, Stacy. She's really helping me with my coffee journey. Cause she's new to drinking coffee too. So we talked to each other about drinks that we need to try and stuff like that. Um, but anywho, so now I'm at Dunkin' and I'm getting me an iced coffee made with cream and some Splenda because it's only like four points, I think, on Weight Watchers. So, um, the Charlie Cold Foam that I got last time was not even on the Weight Watchers thing, but they're, the iced coffee I got before from Duncan with Caramel Swirl, it was on there, but it's nine points, and I don't wanna use that many of my like weekly points. So, I'm gonna use four of my weekly points for a nice little coffee beverage, nice little iced coffee, and then I'm going to eat my tortilla pizza when I get home probably after practice because I'm not sure what time I will be getting home but I've got to get gas before I go home last time I was over here um, I well not the last time well was it the last time no the last time I drove over here um, I was running out of gas like I, I forgot to fill up with gas so I ended up getting on the parkway, heading home, and my gas light came on as soon as I hit the parkway. And I was like freaking out and praying the whole entire way home. I've been wanting to tell this story to you guys for a while and I just keep reading. But now it's the perfect time because I'm waiting in the drive-thru line. Uh, but anywho, I was on my way home on the parkway. Gas light was on in my car. I was totally freaking out. Not totally freaking out, but I was like sweating, you know, because I was like, Oh Lord, please don't let me run out of gas. There's not a gas station anywhere nearby. Um, just help me make it to the gas station. And I got like a mile or two away from the gas station and where it says how many miles I have left, like the range on my car, it went from 30 miles to like little dashes, little lines. And I was like, oh no, oh no. I was like, I'm so close. Like Lord Jesus, please don't let me run out of gas. And so I didn't, I did not run out of gas. When I pulled up to the gas pump, the lady in front of me had not even started pumping her gas yet. I was like, really lady? Like I'm back here like doing this cause I was like, you know, I really need to get some gas in this car. And I was afraid to shut the car off because it was so low on gas. It wasn't even reading any miles left. And I was like, well, crud this is not good um and then little needle was on e and i was like this is not good so i left the car running and i was like well if i run completely out i could at least put it in neutral and coast on down to the pump because like i was afraid to go to another pump because that would have been super annoying if i would have ran out of gas while trying to make it to another pump because this lady was taking forever so um yeah I, I made it, I got gas, the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever and he was looking out for me that night. <laughs> he was probably like, girl, why didn't you stop and get you some gas? And I just forgot, I was rushed. Um, we were rushed to, um, to get to church that morning or whatever, I don't know. We, we just forgot to get gas after church that Sunday afternoon and so, um, so then I was like, well, I've got to go to Orangeboro, get my phone fixed. And so I came, but I was like, well, I've got to go get my phone fixed. So I came for that appointment. And then on my way home to make it to Bible study that night, um, I just completely forgot about getting gas because I was going to be late to Bible study. And I ended up being like 20 minutes late to Bible study. But I still went 
because God is faithful and he helped me to make it to the gas station to fill up my tank of gas. So I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, be responsible. Don't let your car run out of gas. But if you are almost, like if your light turns on, just pray through it and hopefully Jesus will help you like he did me. He's pretty good about that sometimes. I've seen, I've heard stories where people, um, their gas, they were almost out of gas and they prayed, 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 and all of a sudden they had a full tank. I'm like, God can do it. He can do whatever he wants to because he's God and he's good and he's awesome. So I just wanted to share that little story with you guys. But I'm pumped. Like, I'm pumped that, that the Lord was like, yeah, girl, I'm gonna let you get to the gas station even though I was like sweating. And my husband called me um, and I, and I, during the whole me driving with the gas light on and everything, and I didn't want to tell him what was going on because I didn't want to worry him, so I just, like, acted like nothing was wrong, but he said he could tell by the sound of my voice that something was wrong, but I didn't want to freak him out, but I may have freaked him out anyways. I don't think I freaked him out, but I didn't want to freak him out and be like, I'm almost out of gas, like, because he would have probably came and tried to help me and all that mess. And I didn't need that. Like, I was going to make it. And I did make it. By the grace of God, I made it. But, anywho, this is taking forever. Like, I did a mobile order, but it says I have to go to the drive-thru and talk in the speaker. So, a lot of people getting their coffee. Like, I don't blame them. Because around this time in the afternoon, it's like 4, 14. I'm, I could take a nap. So... <laughs> I need to not do that though. I'm not going to do that because I've got to run some errands and then go back home. But I really wanted a little little coffee, a little pick me up. And Starbucks didn't even have the one I wanted. So Dunkin' is where it's at, people. Because I wanted to try the blonde, the iced blonde vanilla coffee made with almond milk. I was gonna do coconut milk, but then I saw the option for almond milk. But then it said that it wasn't available at the location. Whatever. It's fine. As long as I get me an iced coffee, I'm good. I hope it's good. I've never gotten the iced coffee just made with cream and Splenda. I've never done that. I've always had like syrups in it and stuff. So I'm hoping I like it. It might be a little strong for me. I don't know. I think I'll be okay. But we'll see. We shall see. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. Hopefully I get my coffee soon. Thank you very much. Have a nice time. You too. We got the goods. We have acquired the coffee. Sweet! So, I just want to say for reference, um, this iced coffee with cream. It's a medium iced coffee with two Splenda, three cream. It's not my favorite. It's not absolutely terrible. I can drink it, but I would want more cream or just something. Caramel cream or something and it would be really good. But I was trying to get something that's low points and this was it. So, Splenda is nothing on Weight Watchers. So, you know, that doesn't really make a difference in the points, but the cream will and you know, any added syrups will definitely make it go up. But it's not terrible. It's just not my favorite. Anyways, now I am at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to go in here and see if they have a blue jean jacket. And I'm also going to look at their luggage because I want to get um, a suitcase if I find one that I like. Because I don't really have a suitcase. We've got some old ones, but I kind of want a, a nice... Not like a super nice suitcase, but you know, a nice suitcase that I can uh, just bring on trips and stuff. So, not that I'm going on a bunch of trips. I've got a women's conference coming up at the end of April, beginning of May. So, I'm going to be going on that and I kind of want a suitcase for it. It's just good to have a suitcase, you know? So, I'm going to go look in here and see what I can find. And then I'm going to go in Target and look for some, like, flip-flops because I only have one pair. So I want to get a couple, maybe a couple pair of flip-flops and then look at, um, what else was it? Just look at the clothes and different things. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. 
All right, so it's 8.53. I just got out of pricing practice. Um, I did have a successful shopping trip. My gas light came on. <laughs> After me talking about how I was gonna get gas before I left to come home, I did not. Um, so I got gas before I came to the church for practice. Um, so it's filled up, it's great. Uh, we love to see it. Um, but I know my voice sounds funny, it's just because I've been singing for a couple of hours. But um, yeah, so my shopping trip went well. It was successful. So I will share all the things that I got and found um, when I get home. So now I'm gonna head home, fix my tortilla pizza, and yeah, because I don't need to go through a drive-thru, and I'm not going to. But me and the hubby drove separate because I was on my way here. So I was a little bit late. He was a little bit late too, but you know, it's, it's good. We made it to practice, so that's all that matters. But he's practicing his song right now, and um, I'm not singing on it. It's just like a story song, so he's singing it by himself, and the musicians are helping out. So I was like, I'm peace now, because I'm going to eat some pizza and stuff. So anyways, that's what's going on, and I'm going to go now and show you what I got when I get home, if I have time. We'll see. All right, I made it home. So I'm gonna show you all what I got at the store. Pretty pumped about it. Let's show ya. Okay, a TJ Maxx. I got a blue jean jacket right here, right here. It's really cute. It's got like a little bit of frayed, I think that's how you say it, detailing there. And hold on. Uh, it's kind of like a faded denim, which I like. Um, it's a lighter blue. But it's a medium. That's the size I got. It, I don't know that it'll fasten on me yet, but we'll get there. Um, there's a little frayed detail there on the back. <clears throat> Goodness. And the collar's a little bit distressed. And I like it. really like the look of it. So I got that, and it was only um, $16.99, if you're wondering. I'll try it on here in just a minute. Um, and then at Target, I got some uh, flip-flops because I only have one pair, and you can never have too many flip-flops. The pair that I have don't match everything, so I wanted these that I can wear to match with everything. Uh, and they were only $9.99. These bad boys um, were $30. Bucks. Um, normally, I would try to get a sale on some shoes, but these are what I plan on wearing for Easter if it works with my dress, so I'm hoping that they will work. And I don't have a nude heel or tan or whatever you want to call this. I'm pretty sure it's nude. What's the box say? Taupe. Okay, it's taupe, y'all. Um, so taupe. Um, and it's just a good chunky heel that will match a lot of my, like, neutral brownish, um, like, springy color type stuff that you don't necessarily want a black heel with. So I'm excited about those. Hopefully I'll get, I feel like I'll get a lot of good wear out of them. But yeah, they were 30. Well, actually, no, they were 26 something. Um, so they were a little bit cheaper than 30. Then we hit the mother load with Easter stuff. Um, Easter Bunny is coming, so I had to get all the things. So we got a Reese's egg, um, or a Reese's chocolate bunny, um, some nerds, jelly beans, some, some little grass, a mix of theirs, the eggs, Milky Ways, some Ferrero chair chocolate that my sister-in-law, I think she really likes it, so I bought that for her. Um, Kendra Joy, Kelty O'Connor, who I watch on YouTube, um, I like to watch her for, like, fitness and stuff, um, she was talking about these, and I don't think I've ever had one, so I wanted to try one, so I got one for me, Jed, and Paisley, and then I got me some sea salt caramel bunnies to have as a little treat, not every day, just when I have extra points left over, and then I got some peeps for Paisley, and then these looked interesting, they're peeps, delights, they're dipped in um, decadent milk chocolate, so that's kind of neat to put in her little Easter basket. So that's all the things that I got. Pretty pumped about it, so yay. Now I'm going to fix my pizza. So I'm probably going to end the vlog here. I'm going to fix my pizza and call it a night, get comfy, all the things. Um, I still got my little dealio there, and <laughs> Jed just got home. So yeah, that's everything I got. I'm pretty pumped about it. So, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.